Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Here I am at the bottom of Broom Tower. Because you know what? In this episode we're not yet gonna take out the Fume Knight. I just noticed I have 42,000 souls. That's a bit much to risk uh, losing on a pretty difficult boss. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'll head, I'll head back to Majula. We'll see if we can level up. I checked before starting the game, loading up my save file. I'm level 133. You know, getting close to that 150. From what I've seen, uh, 150 still seems to be the meta for PvP. And honestly, by the time I complete the three DLCs and the final bosses, I will be way over that. Now, let's check. I don't have my Dark Drift upgraded yet. I knew there was something else I wanted to do. It's been a while since I recorded. I didn't upload yesterday because my internet, for some reason, was completely shot. Um, it was really slow. I couldn't even barely, I could barely do like YouTube, or, like watch YouTube videos, let alone upload. So yeah, sorry about skipping a day, but we're back. Um, let's go ahead and head back to Broom Tower, lowermost floor. This is it. We'll see how we do. I mean, this boss is difficult and it's been a wh while since I fought him. So, depending on my skills today, we'll see how this goes. The damage shouldn't be an issue too much. I will definitely take off my bone arrow because we don't need it. Um, and I will equip my repair powders. I don't know if I'll ever have a chance to use a repair powder here for this boss because he's so fast. But you never know. You never know. I should have a Chloranti ring, shouldn't I? Oh ah, well, whatever. I can survive without Chloranti Ring. Here we go. We can get some good damage in here. Wow. I'm dealing a lot of damage, actually. Although that was, like, dual wielded. Holy shit. Wait. I'm dealing, like, unreal damage against him. I don't think I've ever dealt this much damage against this guy. Thank you for letting me heal up. Oh, is my TV too loud? I don't actually know. This is where it becomes a little bit more difficult. Luckily, I've fought this boss enough times to at least know what he's doing. Yeah, that was... yeah. Okay, I might be dead here. No, I'm not. Got a chance to heal as well. Tss, shit. Yeah, that is... Um, if you get that at the wrong angle, that's really difficult to deal with. Um, I should have dodged the other way, now that I think about it. Because that thing has a huge hitbox on it. Like, really big. Oh, well, that didn't go as badly as I thought it would go. I thought I would get completely annihilated here. Uh, let's use the Ring of Binding. Honestly, what can I get rid of? I don't even know. The blue tier sign I feel like is saving my ass. But I don't know if this is going to make me not overburdened, but... Uh, I can still roll. It looks like I won't actually be needing repair powder because I can kill him pretty quickly. So we'll deal with that. We'll try. I mean, we have plenty of time in this episode. After I kill him, I think I will move into what you call it a bit. Eleum Lois. I will do Seralon eventually, but I'm not like in a hurry to. I can get three hits in. That's good. Okay, that was... That was a mistake because I ran out of stamina. I shouldn't have done that. Holy shit, the damage is insane. When have I ever dealt this much damage to this Fume Knight? Ouch, yeah. I, I gotta watch out for the backhand. Heal up. I almost screwed up the timing there. 
Holy fuck, this is so powerful. I was worried I was still in range of that. You you can absolutely be in range of that at that distance. Yeah, okay, that's not enough time to get a hit in. What's really difficult with this guy normally is healing. It's a huge recovery. Yeah, ouch. I'm gonna use two Estus flasks. Oh, fuck. Shit, I... Blue Tearstone saved my ass there. Good. And you just died. You just sealed your fate. Wow, that was quick. I'm only six minutes in. And I kind of oversold this boss, I think. I was like, this fucker is the hardest in the game. And it really is, but holy shit, this powerful. This is a powerful setup. I mean, I knew that. I knew that it's a powerful setup. This is Nadalia, by the way. Um, basically, what she did is she split up her soul, and those weird mangly things you see throughout the level are her fragments. Kind of interesting, lore-wise. But yeah, we have the crown of the old Iron King. Which allows us to move into Alon's section. Alon's section, honestly, is pretty annoying. So, I'm not in the mood to do that right after doing this boss. So, I think we're going to go into Elayum Lois. Which is a really fun area. But first, 95,000 souls. That's pretty decent. Let's see if we can... Well, basically, what I'm going to spend my points on is... Getting to 45 decks... And getting 35-35 in not int, what the fuck am I talking about? Endurance and vitality. Or vigor or whatever it's called in this game, whatever. You know what I mean. Actually. Hmm. We'll do it. Mainly because, well, after a while, I think really after 45 decks, the scaling starts to decrease. I know it's after 50. 50 is the hard cap for... Or, I mean, the soft cap for uh, how much damage your weapons could do. I'm not gonna get to 50, because it's kind of pointless. I mean, with the amount of damage I'm dealing, as you can see, this is really cool. This shit is pretty frozen. This is probably the best DLC story-wise, um, with kind of the actual plot of like what's going on here and the characters and everything. Basically, what's going on is the Witch of Isolith is underneath the city, like whatever remains of the Witch of Isolith. So that's why the place is kind of turned to shit. Ouch! What the fuck am I doing? I forgot how strong these guys were. They don't look as strong as the other enemies in the other DLCs, but they are. Anyways, we're gonna get to the old chaos later. This boss, by the way, is probably the easiest boss-wise, except for the optional uh, boss. But I don't really count the optional boss, because those guys are always so ridiculous. Let's see if we can do... Ouch. Yeah, the ones with the shield. Love to turtle. Taking a bit too much damage here. I'm being careless, so... I should probably stop that. What the hell was that hitbox? I can almost one-shot these guys. And you know what? Now that we're back at this DLC, we're not fighting a boss. It's time to get these. Because you have these annoying ass dogs that I'm not gonna be able to hit, am I? Maybe from up here. A 
Okay, it doesn't look like they aggro. Oh yeah, that, yes they do. What kind of? Use the stab attack of this weapon. This doesn't drop humanities too. Yes, excellent. Just what I wanted. Also really like the atmosphere of this DLC. That's a winged spear. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, I do have the engraved gauntlets, don't I? And it's lighter than what I have. I was like, see, I was thinking, why am I not using the engraved gauntlets? They just increase my damage to even more ridiculous heights. So why not? We're going to be going for damage. What the? I was like, can you not get that? But yes, you can. I was going to say, I really like this DLC also because it's a snow area. And generally, especially in Souls games, I really love uh, snow areas. Pointless killing that enemy as of right now because they don't do anything yet. That ice rapier. I wonder if that thing is still the most powerful weapon in the game or if it's been nerfed. Because that is arguably the most powerful weapon in the game. Well, actually, it's without the doubt, without a doubt, the most powerful one. Now you have these guys, which are really annoying, the ones with the armor. Okay, I want you to come around. Come to the other side here. Oh fuck, you're useless. I just wanted to kill you. I should, I should have used an Estus. Whatever. Yeah, the problem with these guys is, once again, their amount of poise. It's a lot. Unfortunately, you can't really, like, get these guys to aggro on you, because... Oh, you can get that one to aggro. Ouch. You can't backstab these ones, either. Getting near to the bonfire, by the way. Um... This section, as of right now, isn't really that lengthy. But it does get up there once you have to wake up all the knights. That's gonna be a while because still have to kill Ava and things like that. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's from up... He's up there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and... God, the hitbox. Well, it's not even the hitbox, it's the way they swing. Oh, shit. I I always misjudge the distance on the um, running attack. I always think it's a lot further than it actually is. Goddamn. Like, breaking boxes here, and that's it. Alright, come on. Come on. No, you want to come here. Not you with the shield, though. I would have preferred if you stayed back. There's also one of those hounds here. Oh, I think they dropped an ice rapier. Let's see. No amber herb. Weird. I thought they could only drop the ice rapier. Not that it matters. I don't want an ice rapier. Wait, why am I losing so much damage on the... Huh. I guess it's my weapon. Whatever. I mean, <laughs> nothing has proven to be that much of a challenge so far. I think it's because I hit multiple things. Like, I hit the box as well as the enemy. So it took, it took like, extra life. So that can happen. Same thing happened with the durability. There's a critical for you. It's like a ridiculous amount of damage. I can almost... If I had the stone ring, I definitely could poise break them with the R2. But whatever. I don't have it, so... Tough luck, I guess. Let's go ahead and rest up. And I guess we can just move on. I'm still only 15 minutes in. I'm making very good progress, which 
honestly isn't that surprising with it. Holy fuck, this damage. Really, to optimize my durability loss, what I should do is do two of the two-handed or the dual-wielded attacks and just finish them off like this. Just to save durability. But honestly, who cares? Like, it doesn't matter. Can I get a backstab one? Can these guys even be backstabbed? I'm not sure. Might snipe him, because why not? Luckily, I'm dealing a lot of damage with my bow, even though this thing is not even up to plus 10, because bows have, of course, very good dexterity scaling. Oh, there you are. I knew there was one more of these guys. 1700 damage just like that. Not even getting like counters or anything. You know, I've never really gone to a build that can deal like huge damage like this. But I have to say it's pretty fun. I mean, the most damage I've dealt was probably way back on my sorcerer guide. Because that sorcerer with those crystal soul spears he did some damage. Anyways. That's besides the point. What is on the point is that I'm going through this area so quickly. No point in going back behind that door because um, everything there is frozen. All the treasure chests. Oh, fuck. I thought I had more stamina. Here you have Mr. Invisible Dudes. I'm not even going to touch them because they just cause trouble. Especially since we're not that far away from getting them to appear. So it's like, what's why do extra work? Now if we go in here, this is the one I always miss. Or oh, the one I could never... Fuck. Fucking hitboxes. Anyways, what I was going to say is... I always forget to raise this, but I should because this contains the North Warden set or something, which is a really cool set. Good. You just sealed your fate. God, I just two-shot one of these guys. Holy fuck. I know I'm going on, on and on about my ridiculous damage, but you have to admit, it's pretty fun. Huh, it looks like I'll be able to get to the eye and everything in this episode. This DLC isn't really that difficult anyways. At this point, it's going to get more difficult because you have to go through very lengthy sections of just gameplay. And you know, your weapons break, you run out of Estus and shit like that. But yeah, we have the Eye of the Priestess. Gonna allow us to see these guys. Which is weird because these guys are really out of place. You know, it's just like wearing the Elite Knight set. Wow, lots of poison on you. Didn't really get you that far, did it? Hey, an armor piece. They can drop their weapons and their shields and everything, but it's like you can't really expect anything. If you get lucky, you get lucky. Alluring Skull, Skeptic Spice. God, I'm still only like barely 20 minutes in. I'm already at the bonfire. Holy shit. Well, I just like annihilated this area, basically. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go ahead and stop it here. I know, I know like, because if I start the next section, we're not going to get anywhere because, well, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. Might be able to even get through this place. Get back to the start. I wouldn't be surprised if that would be possible. Ouch. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to just walk into it like an idiot. Screw 
So close to that one shot. God, these guys really like to use ranged, don't they? I mean, the sorceresses I can understand. That's kind of their thing. Oh, fuck. I didn't think you would... Doesn't matter. Oh, the damage. Die. Thank you. I was banking on the fact that he would die. And he did. So that's all good. Die. I really want that one shot. I don't think I'm gonna get it though. Ah well, whatever. I'll survive. I'm picking some of these treasures up, but none of them are really... Oh yeah, it's Orime. He invades here, but... He's kind of a tricky fuck. Luckily again, the thing is, once you figure out what his trick is... It's not actually not that difficult. Okay, come on you Ice Knight. There you go, that's what you want to do. Want to lure them down here because... Actually dealing with two of these guys can be pretty difficult. Especially when I just stand there and let them hit me. One down. The thing is, their shields are like really powerful. Like the enemies gen in general have lots of like bounce back on their shields. That's why, it's can why it can be difficult to deal with them. Dead. Nothing else really here. So Orime should be this barrel right here. No, it's not. Oh yeah, he knew. Like, he knew that I knew. Okay, or I'm... God, the tracking on these fucking NPCs is so annoying. They have more tracking than you could ever have as a player. Luckily, I can heal. And you just stood there and let me do it. Thank you. That was a weird backstab, but I don't even care. Like, the NPCs fight dirty in this game. Like, really dirty. And just to be an asshole, the game developers decided to give you silver talismans, which is what he uses to hide, just to troll you. Yeah, okay, this still barely took any time. I'm gonna go and get back to this bonfire, and as I wrap up the episode here, I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin and still go to the wrong menu every time and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.